Hi, this is Mrs. Freifeld. We're going to be solving some proportion word problems that are a little bit harder than the first set that I gave you. We're going to do it the way we did the last one. I'm going to give you four problems. I'm going to read the problem to you, and I need you to pause the video while you try and solve it. After you solved it, then unpause the video to check your answer. Here's the first one. The cost of three packs of gum is $1.59. At this rate, what would be the cost of two packs of gum? Go ahead and pause your video now. Did you get a dollar and six cents? If you did, go to problem two. But if you didn't, watch and see how to solve it. I look at the question and I see that I'm making a comparison of cost to gum. Cost to gum. I'm going to go up into the original problem and see where the first ratio is. And I see I can get three packs of gum for $1.59. I'm going to go back down into the question and find out what that third number is. They want to know what's the cost, which is the top number, of two packs of gum. Okay, the problem's set up, and now I'm going to go from what I know to what I don't. Well, I know both on this side, but it's not very easy to go from there to there. So I'm going to see if I can go from the bottom to the top. Well, I see that the number is getting bigger, so I'm multiplying by something. And to find out what that missing number is, I'm going to do the opposite operation. I'm going to divide a dollar and 59 cents divided by three. I'm going to float the decimal point up. I can get zero groups of three out of one. I have one left over, down comes my five. I can get five groups of three out of 15. Down comes my nine. And I can get three groups of three out of nine. So I find out that it's three times 53 cents. And what I do to one side I have to do to the other side. So I'm going to multiply. I'm going to put my longest number on top and I'm going to multiply it by the shorter one. 2 times 3 is 6. 2 times 5 is 10. I'm going to count and see how many numbers are behind the decimal point in the problem. That's how many have to be behind it in the answer. And the answer is a dollar and six cents. Okay, now we're going to do problem two. There are five red cars, seven blue cars, and three green cars in the parking lot. At this rate, how many total cars would you expect to be in the parking lot if there were 25 red cars? I want you to pause the video and see if you can solve this one by yourself. Did you get 75? If you didn't, then we're going to solve it together. But if you did, you can fast forward to problem three. I'm going to look into the question and find out what it is they want me to compare. They want me to compare a total to the red cars total to the red cars. I go back up into my problem to find the original ratio. I see that they gave me five red, but it looks like I have to find my own total. Five plus seven plus three is 15. So that's my first ratio. And this number here, this goes in my second ratio, and it goes on the bottom, the red row. Okay, it's set up correctly now. I'm going to go from what I know to what I don't. It gets larger, so I'm multiplying, and in this case, I'm multiplying by 5. Whatever I do to the bottom, I need to do to the top. 15 times 5 is 25. Carry the 2 and that's seven. So the correct answer is 75. 
Here's problem three. Mrs. Freifeld's grand dogs sleep 14 hours a day. What is the ratio of the number of hours the dogs are awake to the number of hours they sleep? This is not a proportion problem, this is a ratio problem, so read it carefully. Pause the video now. Did you get five to seven or five over seven? If you did, fast forward to problem four, but if you didn't, let's see how to get that answer. Okay, I'm looking at it and I see that the keyword is right here. They want to know the ratio of the number of hours the dogs are awake, so that's going to go on top, to the number of hours they're asleep, so that's going to go on the bottom. And I go back up into my problem. Well, it says that the dogs sleep 14 hours a day, so that's going to go on the bottom. But it doesn't tell me how many hours they're awake. But I do know they're 24 hours in a day. And if I subtract out how much they sleep, I'm left with how much they are awake. Okay, but before I go on, I have to simplify that ratio. And I'm going to run it through the magic numbers 2, 3, 5, and 7. They're both even, so I'm going to divide by 2 and get 5 groups of 2 out of 10 and 7 out of 14. Well, I can't run it through two because they're not both even. If I sing the three song, five isn't in it. If I try and divide by five, I can divide that into five, but not into seven, and seven is bigger than five. So it simplifies to five over seven, five to seven, and five colon seven. Any of these are perfectly good answers. And here's our last problem. The local bakery sold 135 cookies during a five-day period. At the same rate, how many cookies will be sold in 14 days? I want you to pause the video now while you try and solve this, and then unpause it when you're ready to check it. Pause it now. Did you get 378? If you did, you're done. But if you didn't, watch how to get that answer. Okay, I look at this question and I see that I am comparing cookies to days. Cookies to days. And I look back up into the problem and it says I sold 135 cookies in five days. This is the first ratio. This 14 this is in the second ratio, and it goes on the bottom row, the day row. I'm looking for the top number. Now I'm gonna go from what I know to what I don't, but that's not very easy to do. So I'm gonna try going from what I know, and I know the bottom to what I don't here, and, and I know it's getting bigger, so I'm gonna multiply, but I'm not sure what I'm multiplying by. So I'm gonna do the opposite operation and divide. 135 divided by 5. I can't get any groups of 5 out of 1. I have 1 left over. Down comes my 3. I can get 2 groups of 5 out of 13. 5 times 2 is 10. I have 3 left over. And down comes my 5. I can get 7 groups of 5 out of 35. So that's my missing number. I'm multiplying by 27. And what I do to one side, I have to do to the other side. Well, I sure can't do that in my head, so I'm going to go 27 times 14. 4 times 7 is 28. Carry the 2. That's 8 plus 2 is 10. There are three steps. I'm going to erase. I'm going to X and I'm going to joy. 1 times 7 is 7. 1 times 2 is 2. I'm going to add these together. 8 plus 0 is 8. 0 plus 7 is 7. 1 plus 2 is 3. The correct answer 
is 378. You finished. Good job.